All right, here we go, guys. It is it is time for Chris Chan twenty eight a concept a concept and pers- a, 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 Chris Chan a comprehensive history part twenty eight. Let's get this. <laughs> let's get this going. Oh, it's going. Don't worry. What made him this way? I don't know. What is the attraction? It's very hot. What I keeps guess. us fascinated? I don't know, bro. I don't know. This is the story of Chris Chan. Of Christian Chanlin. Christian Weston Chandler. Sorry. Christian Chandler. Sorry, I had to open my window. The dog on May there. 13th, 2010, okay. someone who called herself Daria Camacho announced herself in a blog post on the Wikipedia, claiming that she was a fan manager who was hired as a temporary sysop to help run the website until Christian returned from his hiatus. She proceeded to make numerous changes and additions across the site, in the interest of making the front page in particular more aesthetically pleasing and presentable to new visitors. Okay. She was apparently not an approved member of staff as Wow, Chris that looks incredible. <laughs> ...continually reverted any changes she made to the site. Daria was later revealed to have been an alias of the sysop of the Aspropedia. Mal. <gasps> On May 15th, Chris recorded a video poster. discussing the recent murder of the University of Virginia lacrosse player, Yardley Love. I understand recently that there was a girl who was uh, murdered at UVA by her ex-boyfriend. She was on the lacrosse team. It was very sad. Poor, poor woman, he just kicked the door in and banged her head against the wall. Totally ruined her right side and right side of her head. Wow. She died from that. What is he referring to? That sounds horrible. Wait, what is he referring to though? I'm so confused. And then, she, and then he took her computer, because apparently there was some, there was an email on there that he sent her. And he didn't want that to get out. Okay. I'm sure it got out by now. Can you identify with that, That's Chris? Very sad. Uh, and I, uh, what is he referring to? Does anybody know what he's referring to? Like uh, some, some woman who gets her head bashed in? I'm going to look it up. Hope that, and I hope that they have done so already that the lacrosse the team for, UB, for UBA wins. A memory of that, a memory of that girl. And yeah, it was not an accident. It, 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 so that the it uh, was a murder he, in his town at college. Oh, okay. Claims to say as it was. She should get like twenty years in jail. That's it. I think he should die for doing that. He should be killed for it. But okay. That's what he deserves from that. Why twenty years? Why twenty years in jail? He murdered somebody, and you think that he should—he intentionally murdered someone. You think this is twenty years in jail? Where did you come up with that? I just don't understand the logic. He deserves jail time and hard time. Yeah, he deserves to have a hard time. Making rocks, making last his place. It's like repay debt to society for the shock from this girl's murder. I don't know. I mean, like, listen, this is, but I don't think you can repay your debts to society for if you murder somebody like that, like an intentional cold blooded murder, you know? Again, like the, the manslaughter, like unintentional, sure, but what the fuck? Also, man, you know, the whole license plate thing in jail, not really that good. I mean, it helps give prisoners money, which is great, but then at the same time, they pay them like a, a 10 cents an hour. And I get it. They're also working. They're also, so this is the thing, they're they're working in like a prison. So it's like, oh, you could argue like, oh, they have to pay their money back to the prison. Um, <clears throat> sure. But then the thing is, is that they're charging like eight cents for the license plates. Like, it's not like, it's so hard to, like, it doesn't, it's not like a license plate costs any less because they have prisoners working on it. Right. So the gov- government subsidizes like these things, like creating license plates uh, with our money. And then they don't have to pay people to do it. But they still charge like however much for a license plate. You know what I mean? So it's like we're not winning, all right? Capitalism is winning, guys. Yeah. Also, the other events around the world. Uh... The prison. The, wait. So the guy took the stand last month. Wow. The murderer took the stand last month. Really? Yeah, it's on my mind right now. But I well, I do watch the news. Me too. And man, uh, when I too. have a thought about a recent event, I feel it's of uh, good talk of uh, worthwhile talking about, and I will. I will record it and I will talk about it. Chris, also, yeah. Chris would make an excellent uh, reaction channel. It'd be a little more, like, probably on the same level as a like, Moist Critical. Also, there's um, another little mention about that from my point of view. Appa- apparently, uh, not not just uh, the fact that we are unable to so- unable to socialize, but at least from my point of view, uh, in a crowded in a crowded event or section, very crowded, where it's not easy for me to get much attention. Okay. I I just I just likely tend to freeze up vocally. 
I, uh, I can pretty much uh, do body language for enough, but it's like... Can't get a word out. How do we get from this girl getting murdered to him having being awkward in public? I don't understand. Oh, oh, my throat, even not even as much as a hello. Moist critical. Yes. I am not a bad man. I am not I have no intention of anything negative of that sort. I'm just I'm just damn shy from the autism. Freezing me up. Okay. And I am working on that. I just need I just need help from I, I just need help from my from my real friends, real people. Because I can't just expect women to fall into my lap like that. If it was that easy, then at this point, especially over the internet, Wait, what? Easy, then expect. Wait, so we, we talked about a girl getting murdered, and now we're talking about Chris is having a difficult time finding women? This seems like the least appropriate time to talk about this, Chris. But, oh, I mean, okay. Like, did he talk about, like, what was the motivation for him talking about this horrific murder? Was it to, have, like, to talk about how he can't find a girlfriend? I'm very, it's very confused. Obviously a bit tone deaf. At this point, especially over the internet, definitely be an action of a troll. So, I can tell, I can tell a difference right there. Maybe paranoid. You did. Damn trolls. Leave y'all with that for today, and uh, wait till another day when I have another thought about recent events. Okay, very good. Have a good day. On May 20th, Chris made a video mostly discussing his favorite comedians, notably wearing his new trucker style outfit. I just uh, started up this uh, video to uh, give y'all a little update on myself. <clears throat> you know, I'm doing well, so is my mom. And for your information, my father is alive and well, so. That rumor is false. Okay. My father is alive and well. Let's talk about famous comedy people. Uh, Y'all know I like, uh, I, li I like, from class in the classics, uh, Lucia Ball. I know, thanks. Let me find me a Benjamin girl. Let me find down this. He likes women comedians? Now that is not based, Chris. W women are not funny. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Now I know why you, come on. You have to, you have to disrespect women just enough for them to respect you, you know? You know what I mean? You have to be a little bit of an incel to get pussy, Chris. Did you not know this? Come on, bro. This, you put my body, so you can copy it, and all your problems in this little bottle. Find me a Benjamin. And I also like Red Skelton. We're going, okay, we're all going to the, uh, we're going to the, we're all, we're going to the parade. We got a float that we, now this float that we run, it looked like the back end of a Cadillac. And then something, and then something happened, and, uh, we had, and we don't know what happened, but we went out of control and, out and crazy, and we ended up in the McGriffin Park late. Two ducks led by, and one to the other said, Gertrude, who hatched that thing? I also like Jerry Seinfeld. He's he's very funny. I watch his show every I watch his show every day on TBS. Okay. You know, I would I would, you know, I would definitely like to see this, you know, even as a video response from Jerry himself. That would his uh, view on autist on autistic people. Especially the high functioning autistics like myself, you know. And also, think about this. I probably <laughs> Like, you know what it would be it would be a good thing if I guess celebrities talked about people with autism, like just or what their thoughts on it in a way that would like kind of humanize and normalize people with autism, right? That's not a bad thing. We don't talk about it like enough in the correct way. I think a lot of people look down on people with just like intellectual disabilities. But then he's like, well, especially high functioning people. He doesn't really care. He doesn't really care about Jerry's opinion on people with autism. He just wants Jerry to acknowledge him. That's it. Like, <laughs> like that's the whole motivation. Sound like Jerry Seinfeld. I'd probably sound like Jerry Seinfeld. You know, this could be a comedy routine for himself. You know, that he could do for autistics. Autistics, yeah. Oh okay. uh, yeah. So uh, I've just recently been introduced to this uh, autistic uh, boy. Aut this uh, autistic uh, teenage boy here, and uh, and. We wait, hold on. Okay. So Chris right now is wait. So Chris is doing an impression of Jerry Seinfeld doing another joke. Who's wait? What's the, what's, uh, yeah, who's... so uh, I've just recently been introduced to this uh, autistic uh, boy, aut this uh, autistic uh, teenage boy. Are you the autistic teenage boy, Chris? I, I don't understand. I really don't get what's happening right now. Here, and, uh, and, we, and you know, I was introduced, so he opened up to me right away. And then, I, and then later at like, uh, and then later at this picnic, this community picnic, he, uh, I see him, I see him over there, and uh, he wants to find, he wants to meet himself a lady. So he's hanging out over there. And I don't see him talking to the lady. He's just, uh, he's just uh, smiling and uh, being silent. I mean, he ain't gonna go anywhere unless he toss the, unless he toss the ladies. But then again, that's part of the autism right there. He just uh, tends to blank out when he's not introduced to the people because he's scared of the uh, unknown. 
Okay. Yeah, I would, anyway, I would definitely like to hear uh, Jerry Seinfeld's uh, opinions and views or comments. That, Chris, honestly, I have to tell you, that joke was fucking incredible. I think that you should do comedy from prison. I think that would be really funny. Um, why would you want to give that? Why would you give that joke to Jerry Seinfeld? It was so good. I don't, I don't really don't understand. You literally could have been made millions of dollars right by now at this point. So I really don't understand why you would be like, oh, here's a joke for Jerry Seinfeld. Like, why not just keep a joke for yourself? It doesn't make sense to me. Me sketch about autistic people. Because I wanted to ask him about that. Oh, yeah, also, you know, another another Jewish dude I like, <laughs> that strikes me as funny, is Brad Garrick, you know, from Everybody Loves Raymond. Also, uh, sure. doing the guy from Till Death. He also actually starred in an episode of uh, Seinfeld I read where he steals Jerry's car. You know, and I have okay. nothing against Jewish people. I mean, they're people too, and I got nothing against the Jewish community. Why do you? Why do you feel the need to say that? You should, like what's the what's the what's the motivator for that? By the way, somebody told me that the reason that uh, Chris got kicked out of that shop, like, cause I you know we watched so many of these episodes. Apparently, the reason he got kicked out of that shop where he was like having a meltdown before mm. was because he was being like really, really like mean and like taking over like the the entire thing when people were trying to play and apparently kind of racist. So I forgot about that stuff. So. I mean, they have their views, and we have our views. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, the joke was so good, it didn't even have a punchline. I think that was the best part about the joke. I mean, they're all, they're all, they're people, we're people. They're people, we're people. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, yes, but well, I, I guess. I said cross signals about that, that has points. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, another joke I like? No, I don't. Larry, the quote unquote cable guy. Get your in! <laughs> well, now you need to be Fine, canceled. Dude, you know, he definitely could be. He definitely had the trucker look going from if he, uh, wasn't that big being the cable guy. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely think they would have, uh, the way he was dressed, they would have called him Larry the Trucker Man. Trucker Man. Trucker Man. <laughs> yeah, very funny. You're a little too, that, that, uh, that hard R is a, is a little too comfortable for you, Chris, okay? I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, and also, you know, speaking of impressions, uh, here's Pierre Cohen. Autobots. Transform. And roll out. I could have swore he said, I thought he said like Edward Cullen. I was like, why the fuck are you doing like a Twilight thing? I don't get it. But it, Peter Cullen, I guess. Okay. Optimus Prime, I guess. Bumblebee, I need you to go and spy them to set the cards. Let the, let's see what they're what they're doing over there. Wow. I can't believe uh, Peter Cullen is in here. Yeah, in spot person. on, dead on, Peter Cullen right there. It was actually, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave y'all with uh, that and those impressions. Until next, until another time when I have another thought or whatever. Okay. Have a good day. Peace. You too. On May 26th, the Wikipedia was hacked by Mao and once again opened to edits from the public, vandalizing it and republishing the false troll created Sonichu issue 11. Christian, feeling defeated, filmed a video the following day stating that he did not want to deal with. He are you saying that Chris felt like he didn't have any feet? <laughs> he get it defeated. <laughs> oh, just, uh, well, that's that's fucking uh, that's humor. That's actual humor, you know. Website anymore. Look. All you people there who are How you people who mock me and torment me, you trolls. I'm sick and tired of having to deal with you. True. You do not need to be getting hacking into my crap and stuff. You do not need to be doing that. And you should never do that. I would never even do that. Sure, I agree. I am trying to improve myself. Exactly. I am working yes. on myself in real life. I am not lazy. I am no I am not so much a man child as I was before. This is so bad. And I am act and I am active within my community, looking for new looking for new friends to talk to hang out with and talk to. And especially the women. True. I do not need to repeat myself. I am straight. I love women. Yeah. And I am not going to be on the internet much because I have been turned off of the internet because of what because of them damn tr because of you damn trolls. Give True me so many bad words. experiences of the internet. Okay, Real life is so much better than the internet. You know, you glue yourselves to your computers, every last one of you, and y'all are becoming autistic-like. Stuck within your computers. Nobody, not, not too many people are socializing in real life anymore. They're just glued to their computers. That's true. And that is not a world that we do not need to live in. Technology is, suppo is supposedly supposed to improve our lives, make things easier for us. Mm -hmm, I'll true. say one thing that it is not making easier. Being sociable in real life. You need to glue, you need to get yourselves away from your computers and your sheltered lives and go out and socialize in real life. Talk to people. He's not wrong. I like how he's called out the trolls, though. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> people. 
go find yourself, go find your own sweethearts, or if you already found them, go t go talk to them and and hang out with them and everything. I want to do that. I do not need to have to update myself on the internet. My good name is my own good name, and nothing on the internet will change that for fact. Everything on the internet may as well be considered false. If you really want to know slander. the truth, you have to see. You have to talk to me in person, in real life. Because what is he talking I am about? not going to be pushed around anymore by anybody on the internet. What's this outfit? Is this like a, it, well, I don't really understand the whole the, this new outfit choice where he looks like Ash Ketchum from fucking Pallet Town. I really don't get it. Anybody outside of the state, outside of my own, outside of my own world. On the on the internet through the computer, the only ones that I will associate with, and possibly, and trust, are those closest to me in real life. Computer heads, go get your own computer life heads. away <laughs> from the computer. True, I agree, Chris. Thank you. People meeting people on the internet supposedly is an improvement in relationships, but you know what? I disagree heavily. Improvement on what socially? Nothing. We're best socializing in real life, talking on the telephone. We do not need the internet and emails. We become y'all have become slaves to your own damn thing. I'm not understanding. So Chris is. I mean, okay. I'm assuming this is like a reaction to trolls, right? He's like upset with trolls. So he's telling people like, oh, you don't need the internet. Get off the internet. Stop bullying me, basically, is what he's trying to say. The thing is, is that this guy, like, fucking, st like, well, studied computers, uh, for lack of a better term, I guess. Uh, like, st he, like, majored in computers. So I'm not understanding. Like, these, like, you love computers. You like, you love technology and computers. So what the fuck are you on about? It's just bizarre, you know? It's just weird. Think about it. I'm thinking about it right now. Four days later. Chris posted a video clarifying the copyright situation concerning Sonichu. I am making this video to state a point. Firstly, I do not disown Sonichu or any of the rights. So therefore, the current use of it on what was the Wikipedia by Alan Bigson Larry and Vivian G. Do you smell armpits? On what was the Wikipedia. Wait, hold on. What is he saying? I do not disown Sonichu. Okay. Alan... okay, so he's he's saying that he owns it. Okay. Bigson Larry. He just smells armpits, or is he sweaty and he wipe? Okay. Whatever. Vivian G is not official. I still maintain all rights to science you. They do not. Okay. And the misunderstanding of the science you rights being transferred to the Wikipedia is false. It's just I gave the Wikipedia permission to display my work. I allowed that, but now that I have to given up the Wikipedia, since I took since I relinquished the Wikipedia, I took back. All Sanchu rights with that. Okay. So therefore, I'm still the main owner of Sanchu. I have the copyright papers. So there. All right. And trolls, you're not going to get, you're not going to get me to go back online so easily. What? You scared me off of the internet. So there. You can go find somebody else online to pick on. Do I even need to upgrade to the truths? You think probably. Do you think I'm going to come back? No. You have to. You have a long wait before you hear from me again. Or ever being able to lure me back. So there. If it quit pestering my friends as well to try to convince me to go back because they're for me of staying off of the internet. So there. Have a good day. Chris Beautiful. received a reply in the Beautiful form of song. an update on the Wikipedia. I can't believe Chris is violating so many copyright issues. Like he just keeps playing music in the What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, dude? which was now in control of the persons behind the Asperpedia. They posted a copy of Christian's Certificate of Copyright Registration with an annotation stating that the document implied that Sonichu was created for use on the Wikipedia, which was purchased by Alec Benson Leary, meaning that Leary now owned the rights to Sonichu. On June 4th, Christian attended Fridays After Five, an outdoor concert event held in Charlottesville from spring until fall. During the show, he got drunk and then drove to the game place in order to take a picture of the owner, Michael oh Snyder, so that he could use the printout as a dartboard and shoot at his face. He arrived at the game and hobby store and quickly confronted Snyder, who was soon accompanied by two police officers who came from the nearby shopping center. Chris tried to drive away, but was chased down by Michael, who nearly got hit by his car, forcing Chris to stop. Okay. Snyder provided a brief account of the event in the form of a YouTube comment. Christian is in my parking lot right now being grilled by the police. 
He took pictures of my daughter and tried to run me over with his car. They witnessed this, and I bet they still do nothing about it. The police listened to his side of the story, made him delete any photos he had taken off his camera, and as Snyder had predicted, was allowed to return home with a warning. Christian decided not to tell his parents about this incident. Two days later, he posted a YouTube video telling his side of the story. At this uh, moment, I uh, have an understanding that there are... Dude, why is he so obsessed with this place? Like, just fucking go somewhere else. Holy shit. Like, seriously, he's, like, fucking obsessed with this. Also, I'm getting really irritated because I need to be able to fucking beat this, and I just don't know what I need to do here. Conceptions and rumors being spread about me, which uh, I would like to state very right off that rumors, spread rumors about anybody, especially to make them look terrible, it's just not cool. But anyway, yeah. First off, I would like to state I do not quote unquote piddle my cats. I, mm -hmm. I, the only parts I touch on them are their back and their heads. Nothing more. Okay. Who the fuck's saying that he fucks his cats? I don't anyway, understand. After that, let me tell you about uh, what happened uh, last Friday, the uh, 4th of June. Okay, so it was after Fridays after five. I went over to a bar and I had a bud, a bottle of bud. Like a Bud Light? Is that and, I, and then I played some solitaire on my DS okay. while, while I waited to the uh, while I waited to the hour. But then about about three quarters of an hour through, because I had a camera in my possession, right then I had the impulse of, hey, I'll go over there. I'll go over to the place and take a picture of Michael Snyder so that I can print it out later and use it as a dartboard. Okay. So then I drove over to the parking lot of the place in front. So wait, is that picture that everybody keeps showing? Is that a picture of Michael Snyder? Like, is that what everybody's referring to? <laughs> is that the picture? I'm, I'm very curious. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Of Staples, and then I made my way to the window to take a picture of him and nobody else. I was not alone there in front of the uh, window. There was another dude who was apparently on his side. And recognize me. He wanted to start a fight, but That's in the fight, in the fight or flee, I decided to flee. So I went to my car, just went in and ran in and got Michael. And then Michael jumped in front of my car. He jumped in front of my car. He, as a matter of fact, he jumped up to the top of my hood. He was looming over my windshield. Jumped to your hood? Shit. It was horrifying. So I backed my car up. It was horrifying. You fucking harassed this guy. <laughs> and, I, and I backed it up to my, to my right. And I see that there was like a couple of police cars in front of me, so that was like the wrong way to go. I should have backed up the other way, but anyway. So to go around them, I went to another aisle, and I drove through that. Okay. And then, so then I, just, then I decided to make a left turn, bad, bad, bad move right there, because he jumped in front of my car again, risking his own life. I could have been going past speed. He was lucky he didn't get hurt, as far as I know. Well, I imagine that he would have could tell if you're going at top speed because he was there. You know what I mean? It's like if you were, he could be like, "Oh my god, this guy's going at top speed. I gotta not jump in front of his car." Um, <clears throat> although I still wouldn't. I personally, I personally would not have jumped in front of his car, even if Christian was has harassing the shit out of me. You know? But I did not run him over. Jumped in front of my car, so I back up, and then I tried going around, and then this, and then this woman, I don't know who, I do not know who the blank she is. She jumps in front of my car, so I stop again. And then I start backing up, and then I get stuck from behind, and then I'm trapped between the between police and Michael and whoever the hell this woman was. Okay. So then I sort out with the police. Uh, they delete they delete the pictures, and uh, and the woman and then the woman the woman came to me right up front and accused she me came to you. of things like, you know, seeing see negative pictures on me on the internet and then accused me of child pornography. I no, wait, what? what? Wait, I'm so confused. Wait, 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 wait. She accused of seeing naked pictures uh, of him? Seeing naked pictures on me on the internet. And then oh my god. Okay, so but the reason that's like blowing my mind is because people keep saying that like this guy, this store owner, like, oh, he, he messaged, um, he, he's leaving comments on YouTube's video, uh, on Chris's YouTube videos. I'm like, that's not true. Like, there's probably just a troll. But if they, if the, to me, if whoever this associate of of this guy is, if if they're, if this girl is seeing naked pictures of Chris on YouTube, that means that he probably, it's probably really him because he's probably ingrained in some capacity in the the culture. So this guy is this actually the guy posting the YouTube videos? That's crazy. That's. So that's actually him posting YouTube comments is basically what's happening here. That is fucking nuts to me. I honestly would have never believed it. 
that accuse me of child pornography. I am not a pornographer of any sort. And any naked pictures of True. me on the internet were either tricked from me by the trolls, where they deceived me, or I was blackmailed. And oh. there were a number of blackmailings as they, as they have dragged themselves out on, the, on their website, such as the Quickie or even the Encyclopedia Dramatica webpage. Okay. Anyway, uh, through, and also, uh, Michael just basically loomed into me, and he said, he just basically shouted from me, You're dead! You're dead! Right, if I had the right mind, I would send him, I would give him a charge of verbal, serve him a charge of verbal harassment. But it was already <laughs> under trouble for quote unquote trespassing. I would have given him a, a bit of verbal harassment? Okay, Chris. <laughs> That's so fucking And then, stupid. so with that, I told the police about. Okay. I remind them, eventually, of the, of the trolls of the internet okay. that have been born against me. And so I warned them of websites such as the Wiki. And I named a troll or two. I'm not going to say uh, who I named. With like blue stacks, like did you say their actual name or did you say the name of like their online alias? Because I feel like maybe things might get a little lost in translation if you didn't say their actual name. But but point but the point is, the only pictures I was taking were of Michael Snyder. Nobody else. No children. Oh, you. Well, you. Okay, now I gotta get it. Okay, well, he's outside of a fucking like gaming place taking pictures. I mean, like. Okay, that's that's realist. That's, it's reasonable to think he might be, you know, taking pictures of children. I don't think that he was. He was, I 100% believe, he was trying to take pictures of Michael Snyder so that he could, what, just jerk off to him or something? No, so that he could throw, like, darts at it or whatever. Like, I do believe that, but it's like, holy shit. I want to make that very clear. Okay, thank you. Just for making that very clear. And also, I do not want any more rumors to spread at all. It's bad enough you have to have ruined... You had to have messed up my once good name and have a transfer into real life, which made which uh, I basically got that impression first. I mean, his name probably was never like good. It just wasn't ex in existence. You know what I mean? But yeah, I get what he's saying. And for practically the first time, so prove that theory, and it made me feel sad because I am not the villain. The trolls are the villains because they strip because they troll okay. me. They make up the crap. They exaggerate or twist around my truth. My spoken word. And they give me wrongful mislabelings. I'm straight. And they use damn Photoshop to make it look like otherwise. That's true, Chris, I guess. I want to go back to a normal life. I respect that, yeah. And one way I can do that, to help go back to do that, is to quell the bad reputation. So, again, I encourage everybody who looks me up on the internet, since there's nothing, since I have removed most everything about myself personally, don't believe anything on the internet about me at this point. But Chris, you're telling us not to believe anything on the internet about you, but this is a video about you, so what you're telling us is that we can't trust what you're saying. That's it. That's what's happening. Don't believe anything on the internet about me. First Troop of the Trolls into the N-word. They literally made Chris say the N-word. What's up? What do you want? Get out of here. Leave. Get out. Get out. This is a no-woman zone. What is this? What the hell is this? I appreciate that. Thank you, baby. What'd you get? Anything good? Just milk? Babe, I'm going to kill you if you didn't get me a snack. That's not disgusting. Peanuts. Love you. Jim Weston Chandler, My Parkersville, wife Virginia, me. United Thanks. States of America. She fucking hates me. She doesn't respect me. I don't respect women, so I don't care. I leave y'all with that. Uh, let's see if I can get 350. A good day or evening, depending on the time zone. Let's see if I can get 350,000. Chris indeed made great efforts to remove himself from the internet. Well, Nevertheless, even though he stopped making... Well, he should have just removed himself from it. Like, you know what I mean? He should have just stopped going on the internet. That would have probably been the best bet. YouTube videos. He began uh, using an application for the handheld console, Nintendo DSi, cool. called Flipnote Studio, cool. which allowed users to create text-based or image-based drawings and frame-by-frame -frame animations by using a stylus. Okay. Users could share, comment on, and rate their creations via the online partner application, Flipnote Hatina. His first flip note was a picture of Sonichu. Okay. His account was quickly discovered by trolls and shared on the quickie. I wonder how. On June 18th, Chris made another appearance at Friday's After 5, okay. which seemingly had become a regular hangout of his. I was like, wow, I'm YouTube really user well. Zero Archie Bunker Zero, who was aware of Christian, happened to also be there and took photos and videos of him. Oh. During the event, he wore his now signature denim vest, along with a red t-shirt which apparently read, I enjoy vagina. He was documented dancing. Wait, Chris wore a shirt that says it. 
I enjoy vagina. Wow, that's not during a rock band performance. All. Surrounded by that's pill- like the same thing as buying a Ford F one fifty, so that you think that so that people won't call you gay, you know, because you certainly are gay, you know. Children and some of their accompanying guardians. He would also take frequent breaks and sit down, playing with his Nintendo DSi, likely commenting on other users' flip notes or drawing his own. At a later point, so he pulled back his point. T-shirt to reveal his bare abdomen and sports bra, on which "Want Woman" was written in permanent marker. Could you imagine not knowing who Christian is and seeing that "Want Woman"? I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't imagine it. That's fucking insane. Holy shit! This seemed to have been a simplified reimagining of his attraction sign from nearly a decade prior. During the second half of like June, it. Christian created near daily flip notes, supplanting YouTube with Flipnote Hatina as his creative outlet. His first animation, Ultimate Nightmare, was a simple two frame effort of a stick figure walking at a rate of an eighth of a millimeter per hour. Right, guys, we can do this. The, description. the video was also accompanied by a sustained high pitch synth whine. On June 22nd, Chris watched a flip note animation created by user 8-Bit about not engaging with trolls. 8-Bit had made the animation available to be downloaded and edited by other users, such as Chris, who re-uploaded a remixed version of the animation with some of his own alterations. For example, he changed Overlaid's text to say encouraging words about having a safe, happy life offline and not starting any relationships over the internet. In addition, the short clip of Sonic was replaced with Sonic 2. Christian credited 8-Bit both in the description and in the final two cards. Wow. Two days later, he uploaded an original animation called Hippo on Your Head. Ah, you have a hippo on your head. Yeah. Well, don't just stand there while I later on me. Wow, what a Dear great, uh... sir. Hello. Sign Buck Williams. Buck is Buck Williams. He also created many sock puppet accounts so that he could give himself high ratings and views. On June 25th, Chris right. uploaded a two-part animation oh, called Random Humor 1, Holy which was shit. largely copied from an episode of the cartoon series The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. Some numbers can't be trusted. These are threes. Did you know that you can never trust threes? See? Threes turn sideways and pretend that the M's are M's. True, that's why I go for fours. Four out of tens. You can trust those girls because, you know, they can do anything to them. Like, uh, fucking ugly girls? You can manipulate them. You can make them do whatever the fuck you want, dude. It's crazy shit. I'm just fucking around, dude. You fuck it around. You know it's true, though. Let's be honest. But I'm just fucking kidding. I'm obviously joking, guys. That wouldn't be very poggers of me. And sometimes they turn themselves around to make you think that they're E's. Weird, huh? And sometimes they'll even lie on their backs and pretend they're W's. Come back. I'll show you some sixes. We like to pretend they're noses. I'm practicing my eeks. Eeks. Eeks are very important if you're writing a story about a sexy, beautiful woman in barrel. Say so there's a sexy, beautiful woman living in her apartment. She was hanging in her room one day, when suddenly a mouse came in. <laughs> she cried. If you want to write a good story about a sexy, beautiful woman in peril, right. you would have to be able to write a good eek. An ock probably would have killed me. Is- hey, dude, where's your sister? Where is right? I'm practicing my whys. Why? No, whys. I drew a whole row of them. Oh, not O's, whys. I see. I see. We're saving my I's and C's. Can I just say this is actually not that bad? <laughs> this is actually kind of decent. Like for what? He, for like some bullshit kids show shit. This is actually kind of good. Um, uh, I know that's like weird to say, but it is actually kind of good. So it's creeping me out a little bit because <clears throat> it's kind of decent, dude. Seriously, it's really not that bad. These are wise. Don't you ever listen to us? I'll tell you one thing that it is not. I accidentally went like skip. Pay attention. These are you. Don't you ever listen? Uh-huh. Gee. Not G's, Y's. Now pay attention. B's are U's. They don't look like me at all. <laughs> so stupid, Ow! What you hit me for? Good job, an idiot! Okay. True! You are an idiot. Next, he uploaded a song concerning a farmer and a cow. Hey there, Moo, what you gonna do? Are you gonna give me some milk today? Wow. Mm. Could you imagine if we went down this arc? Like, this is, this is almost like the, um... This is almost like the Hitler arc. I'm not. I'm not fucking memeing either. Like, what if, if like, what if, what if Hitler had gone, had done art instead? You know what I mean? Like, what if Christian had done this instead? Like, that's. I'm being fucking serious, man. What happened? Because this is actually like kind of decent. Like, you guys remember the the um, autistic? What is he? The the dating with autism <clears throat> show, where the girls like, I'm an animator. Like, imagine Chris was like. This is what Chris did. Like Chris was an like kind of not like an animator, but you get what I'm saying. Like Chris did this. Like what happened? What would have happened? You know? 
would have been a very different world we would be living in right now. Dating on the spectrum. Yeah, dating on the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. It would have been a very different world, bro. It would have been crazy. What? Kristen provided an impersonation of the character Cheese from the animated series Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I that chocolate milk. Tickle tinkle in the car. You should be the user jar. Thank you. Alex Serio. Do it again. Do it again. I definitely could tell that was Cheese from uh, Foster's. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. On June 27th, Christian uploaded a series of factual statements about himself, following a popular footnote hitting the trend at the time. Okay. These included, I am an honest, good, and decent man. I am a fun, loyal, sociable, and cool friend. And, I enjoy making women feel good. The video was- Um, yeah, I don't know if those are factual. I mean, it, I guess it depends on how you define facts, but- okay. Soon removed due to the numerous inclusions of his real name, which was against footnote Hatina's guidelines. Gonna have to go. The next day, he joined in on a trend where a Flipnote Hatina user created a plain basis of two characters and tagged other users so they had to download the Flipnote and add their own personal touches to the image, completing it. They would in turn tag other users so they could contribute their own version of the sketch, and so on. Even though Chris wasn't tagged, he delivered his own take on the image anyway, morphing the anime-style characters into Sonichu and Rosechu. He then tagged 21 accounts who had left comments on his previous posts, many of whom possessed trollsome Flipnote IDs, such as Ghost of Bob Chandler, Asperger Syndrome, and My Duck is Bent. However, Christian locked the animation, meaning that no one could actually contribute to it and continue the chain. On June 29th, Chris published his 10th contribution to Flipnote, an animated recreation of an erotic dream of his, in which he and a woman are floating in a labyrinth filled with water. Like when they see each other, the stick figure representing out. Chris gets an erection. They instantly fall in love and move in closer for a kiss. Okay. Chris then wakes up, wishing to know that woman in real life. He then Me expels too. something from the lower half of his body, but given the limiting color palette and lack of detail, it is uncertain as to what it was meant to represent. Christian asked for the viewers to give it high ratings so that he could later upload the uncensored version. Since the explicitness of this animation was against the rules of the program, it was removed in minutes, though watchful trolls managed to download a copy of it in time. Not long after, Chris hastily drew more clothing onto his characters and uploaded it again. This too was quickly taken down. He then made another version, which was the second iteration, but prefixed with a string of written statements. I want to note, the Romantic Labyrinth flip note is not inappropriate. The people are clothed. There is no violence. There is no flashing. I will not be deleted from trolls who falsely report my romantic fantasy and my straightness as a violation. Just so those dang idiots can get away portraying me as a homosexual, which is wrong. Admins of FN Hatina, who see my complaint here, please monitor all comments posted anywhere on FNH. It is very difficult to locate and block every single one, only to have them create new accounts only to continue trolling me like they've done so far. And please allow me to keep my account on FNH, and allow my romantic labyrinth to stay as my own flipnote on the Hatina, in the name of my right to speak of myself for myself and not be described by false rumors fabricated by the trolling stupid people. Thank True. you. Peace. Christian Weston Chandler. This version was removed quicker than the previous two. The next okay. day, Christian made an animation in the style of Anaglyph 3D, inspired by another user's flipnote, on which he commented, Gayness. In this video, he impersonates four cartoon characters. Autobot, transform, and roll out. I'm Meat Web, I'm a bomb of meat. Stop in the name of the law! Sorry about that, Sif. I dig, 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 I eat me spinach every day. And now for something completely different. It's Monty Python's oh. Flying Elephant! Uh he also made a video tagging supposed female users on the site, asking for ratings if they thought he looked cute, based on the low-quality black-and-white photo provided, which was converted to be- Wow, I mean, he definitely looks really good there, I think, personally, but that's just me, you know? ...usable on Flipnote Studio. In addition to the Flipnote Hatina users, Christian tagged two past women in his life by their online usernames, The Wallflower and Jackie. This animation was also soon forcibly removed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He shortly closed oh comments God. for all his flipnotes, and followed up with a plain, silent, text-based effort explaining his reasoning. My apologies for deleting and disabling the comments on my flipnotes, but I am doing this to clear the slanderings from the trolls, all of whom are being ignored, and are not slash will not be getting any attention at all, and to teach them that they all need to stop their harassments and reevaluate their lives for their benefit. No harm will be done. They need to understand that useless pranks at other people's expense and such misdemeanors are just that. Useless! It is not funny. Peace, Christian Weston Chandler. True. This too was promptly deleted due to his inclusion of his name. Okay, so all of them are getting deleted because he keeps putting his fucking name in there and he's not understanding why? Does he even know that they're getting deleted or does like he's he fucking oblivious? I don't understand. This flip note that mentioned Jackie Romy encouraged the troll behind that persona to re-engage in email communications with Christian, at first angry with him for mentioning her, but after his reply, she calmed down and revealed that she sometimes thought of him and formally resumed chatting with him. 
What? On July 2nd, Chris re-uploaded most of his previously deleted flip notes, including his sexually explicit romantic labyrinth. After these numerous violations, okay. his account and Nintendo DSi were banned. The next day, Christian, under the guise of his own troll persona, Jenkins Jinkies, created an article on the quickie called Coffee Place, which only vaguely referenced Bob and Chris Chandler, and mostly concerned Jinkies' opinions about a certain employee at a certain fast food establishment, with Chris writing in what he believed to be troll speech. Within this single fast food joint of the small town of Rutgersville, Virginia, Bobby goes for morning coffee and breakfast most days of the week. Sadly though, on some of those days, along with other sane or citizens who have been going there for years for their own early bird specials, they get harassed by one or two of the snot-nosed, snooty employees. One of which, Amanda, is one of the part-time managers who gives her elders the coldest of shoulders. Amanda also really opens up for the black people. She would be most friendly to any of the black people. Uncle Ruckus would really kick the shit out of this bitch for not treating us white people. What the fuck? Wait, how did, dude, I was not expecting this. With good kindness and respect. All of the Stainors who loyally come in for their daily morning bread would just itch for the chance to smack her ass and crack her china in due respect to the harass- What the fuck? She has butt hurts unto them. Not much did else he, is known Did he mean Amanda. seniors or seniors? Is that, is he trying to be like, uh, racist against fucking, uh... <laughs> Hispanic people too, or what is it? What is going on here? At the moment, but the same yeah, have heard that she has. A Apparently, he thinks this is how trolls speak, which maybe he's kind of right. But also, I feel like he's just kind of trying to be actually fucking racist as well. So it's hard. I don't know. I don't know where those begin and end. If I'm being honest with you, you know. Of two, probably getting a daily butt hurt from her every night. She's also seemed to be still married. I feel sorry for the dude who has to put up with that woman for the amount of time they've been married. It has been reported that Chrissy has been sighted there, but no photographs were taken, aside from the one above, of him inside the restaurant. Photographic evidence should be sent to quicksightings at hotmail.com. Okay. Also, feel free to show off to everyone around you at the time the fresh gay trucker photographs are taken. Users will be greatly rewarded with china and or pickles. Since this article contained no sources and an odd nomenclature, it was soon scheduled for deletion by administrators, assuming it was written by a wannabe troll pretending to be Chris. <laughs> However, Jenkins Jinkies pleaded <laughs> on the article's talk page not to delete it, and clarified that he was inspired to write the article because of a recent altercation between Chris, Bob, and the part-time manager at Burger King, Amanda, describing it as an eyewitness account from Jinkies' right. point of view. In fact, according to Christian, Bob encouraged Chris to troll her, resulting in the Coffee Place article. What? My family and I were there one morning a couple of weeks ago. My camera was screwing up with me, so I ended up- Wait, does his father- is this actually Chris saying that my dad wanted me to troll this girl? Like he thought it was funny or something? Why would just why would the dad be like doing this? Like, what are you doing, bro? What a terrible idea. Oh my god. Photo of the front counter. I haven't been back for a while. Damn parents won't drive me back there, and I'm only 14. Robert was shouting at Amanda, and eventually Chrissy joined in with an uproar so loud it would have awakened the dead. It was in response to Amanda harassing them that day. I asked around after Robert and Chris left without my family taking notice of me. I can get away with anything within my reach. I'm the middle child of a set of three in my family. Sadly, we were only passing through that week on our way back from a visit with my grandma and grandpa in South Virginia. We live up in Boston. Being bullied as a freshman last year in my high school was no fucking picnic either. And I really loathe anyone who is even considered special. I'm special enough on my own for being invisible yet able to attract attention remotely with a mere thought or do nothing and having to put up with the aggressiveness in my fucking family. I'm very much the mastermind in the family. My father is damned retarded. But enough about me. I hate Chris as much as the rest of you. Stopping the presses on his books and giving up his website, it still pisses me off. If I recall correctly, it was about 10.30 when the father and son duo left, so best bet is about 10 a.m. to try and intercept. I wanted to see Chris, if not both of them, squirm in torture from our trolling of him. I really want to see him blow his top off again. LOLS! Oh, and the windows at that place were tinted, so the photography would be best from inside the place. For the LOLS! Clyde's cash came to Jinky's defense. Knowing was that cr- I'm so fucking confused, bro. What the fuck? ...full well of his true identity, and even hinted that it might be a good idea if Chris interacted in some capacity with Amanda. As he distanced himself from YouTube, he began returning to his old tricks of attempting to attract women in public. And even though he claimed to not pay attention to trolls, he would continue coming back, proving that no matter how much his environment or the people around him made change, there was one thing that always stayed the same. That's Chris. Cri oh shit. Oh shit, I was not expecting him to say that. What a powerful line. Wow. What do we always say, guys? Incredible. Incredible episode, as usual. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout-out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page, and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.